Good morning, baby. Hi, Odin. You always have to say hi. Man, uh, hi, Odin. <laughs> Odin's like, give me attention first. You gotta give her a kiss, Odin. Well, we just woke up, if it's not obvious enough. <laughs> in the mornings, she actually is really good and will stay mostly asleep while I shower. So I'm gonna go shower and start to get a little bit ready for the day. Normally, Dal works out while I shower. I would work out too, but I'm not cleared to work out yet. I got three more weeks so I can work out. Time to go shower and actually get ready for the day. Well, Lena's really good in the morning, so if I wanna lift, now is the time while she's good and fed. The diaper bin is officially full. It does not smell like roses. Time to go take them out. <laughs> Her bassinet and then I shower. So let's start to get ready for the day. Change of plans. Normally I would go lift at this point, but both Liz and I have like PTSD from when she hemorrhaged. She was in the shower. So I don't really want to be like in the garage, music blasting if that happens again, but it just makes me nervous. I don't want anything to happen while I'm not here. So I'm just going to lift after. Dale? Dale. What we've been doing is we feed Lena every three hours. I do the 11.30 and 5.30 and then Liz does the middle of the night one. And then when I wake up at 5.30, I feed Lena, Herper, and then go lift while Liz is still sleeping until like 7, whenever her next feeding is, and then she showers. Today, we both slept in, and uh, now here we are. Little Miss Lena was starting to wake up, so I got her out of her crib, or bassinet, I guess. I was able to shower and get ready, or shower and put my clothes on, and then I can just normally get ready while holding her, or Dal can hold her. I heard Lena crying, so I came in to see what's going on, and uh, yeah, she was just crying. It's baby stuff. <laughs> so then I put in some breakfast for Liz while I'm in here. Well, my breakfast is served. We're currently out of plates, so I'm on a paper plate right now, but these Egg McMuffins from Costco are so freaking good. I can get some protein in the mornings because that's like one of the main things I need. There's a lot of protein now that I'm like breastfeeding and pumping. I've got to go pump, otherwise she's going to start getting sassy. All right, I'll take her. Hi. So hungry. Oh. oh. Your hands might be cold. BRB. My seatbelt is off because we just parked, but Dal's in grabbing food for dinner tonight. We're trying a new place we've never tried before, so hopefully it's good. Baby Lena is just sleeping right here. She does so good in the car. She gets a little bit sad when we first put her in her car seat, but then once we put her in her car seat, she's chill. That's great. It is our first date night being parents, obviously bringing along our sweet little baby, trying to make it feel a little bit different than a normal dinner tonight. I don't know where exactly we're gonna be eating. We were gonna drive to like a view, but it is cloudy and rainy. So we'll see what we end up doing. We got an hour and 30 minutes till she needs to eat. We might have to hurry and feed her in the car. We'll see, depending on how long it takes. And Dal came in with the food. Oh, those shakes look so pot. good. Really? Those Fresh look strawberry shakes with cheesecake and graham cracker. No. Okay, we got our food. Dal came in back with me so we can be by Lena. She wouldn't compromise, so I came in back. <laughs> no. I'm already dropping stuff. Oh boy. Good thing we didn't get a car wash. Yeah, no kidding. Good thing we have our Uber driver. Howdy. <laughs> this is already a mess, so I'm a little bit nervous here. We're about to go do our Saturday morning tradition, which is get acai bowls. We started this back in Arizona and we found an acai bowl place here in Utah that we like. We're sticking with it. I'll just clean it out to the car. Grab the diaper bag just in case. Got the binky. Odin likes to take over Dal's spot when Dal goes in. Yum. You got me a large and you not. Yeah. I FaceTime me my brother Colt. He just called me. He wanted to show me something that he thinks I would like. And it's probably the greatest news I've gotten all day. Check it. Yeah. What, what is that? That is Alex's and yours old soccer jerseys. So basically, I was number 24 in high school. And my brothers had different numbers. But my brother Alex kind of started. He's like, I want to wear your number. So he was 24 when he went through and now Colton is gonna try to be 24 when he goes so basically they should retire that number as the Johnson boys number at our high school because it's going through all the boys so that made me feel good you're the man yes, dude. Sir. keeping the heritage strong try and get it dude try and get it I, will. I never thought that I'd have two Valentine's but this year I do so I'm going to go to the store get flowers maybe some other stuff and ask my sweet Liz and my new baby girl Lena Lou to be my Valentine it's gonna be cute I'm gonna get Lissa like roses and then I'm gonna get Lena just like a little baby rose I think they're gonna love it Lissa has no idea she's I was like hey I gotta go do some stuff I'm gonna go film a TikTok she's like okay we are never apart from each other it's always like since we got married we worked together we lived together like blah, blah, blah. we're always together so anytime one of us has to leave it's like weird <laughs> i was like hey i gotta go she's like okay like where are you going i was like i can't tell you but you'll like it i promise i think she's just stressed to be with the baby alone because it's still new so i'm gonna try and hurry so she's not with her alone for too long so i looked at flower shops around me so i can go find just like nice roses and all of them around me are closed they all closed like earlier today it's saturday i found this one shop that was like 15 minutes away i call them she's like we're still here i can wait 
get for you? I was like, fantastic. So I rush there. I go in. I go to get my roses. First of all, roses are expensive. Like, I should have just gone to a grocery store or something like that. But no, don't let your mind go there. So on the sign, it says flower market and then a bunch of like other stores on like a strip mall type of build. Where the sign is, I walk in. It's like a thrift store, just not a flower market. So I'm like, what the heck? Where is it? So I walk down like around the side of the basement and then there's a flower market. I got my roses unwrapped, unthorned, and kind of dead for 50 bucks. <laughs> Well, this is not going how I thought it would. I was looking for like that brown wrap, make it look all aesthetic and cute. And uh, I asked the f the florist, I was like, where do I find that brown wrap? She's like, no, don't use the brown wrap. Everyone your age wants to use the brown wrap, but it absorbs moisture. I got like a 25 minute discussion on why I shouldn't use the brown wrap. So I came out empty handed. I still have thorned roses that have no wrap around them. Okay. Store number two. Well, you know what? If I were her, I don't know if I would accept this bouquet. Um, I might be sleeping in the garage tonight. This is not my best work. I don't want to put this one on my resume. Are they closed? I just want to say, this is not my best work. What? Can I open? No, not yet. Not yet. Scared. Keep your eyes closed, Alyssa. You're peeking. I promise you I'm not. I'm going to be so bugged. I promise I'm not. Can I open? Not yet. How long? Okay, open your eyes. I'm scared now. <laughs> yeah, I'd love to be. What, why are you laughing so hard? You don't think they look silly? No, they look beautiful. I custom made. Oh, how did you do that? They smell great. What? It's so funny. I don't get it. They look awful. They are like 12 feet tall too. Oh, well, I just thought they were the long stems. Lana, will you also be my valentine? Oh, what you love to? The first time touching a flower. Well, update. What I learned today was Lissa didn't even think anything of it. She liked it. You said you liked it. I thought it was gorgeous. I did not know what it was. And I came in, I was I like. I was so confused because I was like, am I missing something? Like genuinely, I thought I was missing something. It, they did look goofy, but no, point of the no. story is just take care of your girl and she probably won't even notice if it's not like super nice. I tried my best. I should have just bought a bouquet, but she didn't even notice, see? So just ask your girl to be your valentine. It's, it's cuter that you made it. I love that. That's so sweet. Our Saturday night has been pretty chill after Dom went and got the flowers. We ate some dinner and then we've been watching the Cougars and the Cougars won. It was actually kind of a close game at the very end. Glad they won. It's always fun when your team wins. Anyway, I think I'm gonna do my nails. I haven't had my nails done for a minute. The nails I did before I gave birth lasted me quite a while and then they just recently fell off like probably at the beginning of this week or something. I wanna do my nails so bad while I have a little bit of time. I feel like time and doing things for yourself when you have a newborn is just like, I don't know, you don't really put yourself first when you have a newborn. You put your baby first, obviously. So, Dal's gonna chill with the baby while I do my nails. I used to always only do gel nails, and then I recently got these, like, glue-on, stick-on nails. Glue-on nails, I guess. So, I'm gonna do those. They literally take, like, 10 minutes max. They're really, really quick. I think these pink with white flowers would be really cute. Especially with, like, Valentine's Day coming up. I'm like, do I want to do something more bright? I can do, like, a bright red. Maybe I'll go off Dal, because then there's these ones, too. It's just, like, all pink. That's cute for Valentine's Day. These are the two I'm deciding between a red or all these pinks let's see what Dal thinks okay Dal I need a second opinion blue. between these two green between Dal <laughs> stop Pink, many, and many. <laughs> I literally I'm like so tired right now but my nails are done here is how they turned out they're supposed to be like ombre but my nails fit like the size is weird I feel like they still turned out cute though I am so tired it is time for bed we are just about to feed Lena before we go to bed and wow I am so sleepy it's so funny because now having a newborn I feel like our days go by so quick. I'll feed her and then literally the next second is another feeding time. The days fly by so fast and nights fly by so fast. Mm -hmm. 